Right, I have a theory about the train tunnel here. It's an unmarked location north of the Egyptian train yard and it leads over to Nellis Air Force Base. Now a lot of you know that if you go from Field Shack and try to enter Nellis that they will bomb you to smithereens, which is true. But this train tunnel requires a lockpick skill of 100. It's a very hard lock. There was a key that was in the game. Now where is that key? It unfortunately was cut. Where could that key have been? Well, if we follow the train tracks, we get to the Gypsum train yard. And as per my last video on this destination, you will know there's no items of value except a lot of death claws. I think the key was meant to be in a duffel bag in the pool near the Gypsum train yard, or it was meant to be in the building there. And therefore, you had the choice of either a hundred lock picking your way through this train tunnel, or you had to, you know, go to the Gypsum train yard to get the key. Which would make total sense, and I'm amazed this game didn't put it there. Because the Gypsum Train Yard has nothing else of value. The key would have made sense. Now, provided you actually make it up here, there are two death claws that patrol the area. So, you know, you need a hundred lockpick and you need to kill two death claws. Once you do so, though, you'll be able to get inside the train tunnel. Now, this place is crawling with not only ghouls, but loads of frag mines. You will have to be extra careful, because trust me... It's dangerous. I'm actually hugging the right side because I don't think there's too many. What's this? Ah, sh yeah. <laughs> oh, a fire helmet, a prospector, and a load of. Wow, that guy had some cool gear on him. Okay, I hugged the right side and I lost. Just keep an eye out for frag mines, okay? There's one. Let's swap to the other side. Oh, uh, damn it. I'm not fast enough. I'm invulnerable. I don't know why I'm, you know, doing this to myself. There is a glowing one inside this part and a construction hat, if that's something you want to wear. Other few items scattered about. We can continue on. Another frag mine. And then from frag mines, it turns into bear traps. So say you make it through all this, kill a lot of the ghouls. Now, the ghouls will trigger a lot of the mines themselves. Ah! I'm just not fast enough. And I stepped on that. Ah, I got one. Finally. Okay. Then when you get to the end, you have to open a very hard lock once again. Now, I'm going to open it here just with the console. So I can show you the path to take. Now, once you get through here, it is very important that you run. You run to the right, you hug the train track, and you pray you just don't get blown to pieces. And to be honest, even at that, it says this is meant to be the easy path. But I have routinely been annihilated. There they come. But if you hug the wall here, and you, as I said, if you run well, as fast as you can, eventually you will be able to hide in all these wee nooks and uh, wee nooks into the side of the cliff. Keep running. Just keep running. You will eventually reach the end of this train track, and that will be the fence in Nellis. You can hug that the whole way along till they actually have a bit of dialogue, because this fence requires a key to open it. So you will just have to walk along, but that avoids the bombardment. Honestly, it's probably best to just look up a tutorial on how to skip all the bombardments to get up to Nellis. As I said, just walk all the way around, and you will get to Nellis. And that's the train tunnel, an unmarked location. It's so weird, it really shouldn't have been unmarked. It should have been visible here and here. I'm amazed it's not. It's beside Raoul's shack and the Brotherhood of Steel uh, safe house. I should have mentioned that apart from the Gypsum train yard. That's my theory on it. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Do you believe that's where the cut key should have been? Because it would explain why Gypsum train yard has nothing of value other than a star bottle cap for the amount of death claws. If the key was available, it would, you know, you'd be, mm, you'd be faced with a decision, take out all those blind death claws, get the key in order to, you know, avoid a lot of the bombardment. I think it would have been a cool way to play the game out. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.